Hello, welcome to your academy. At your academy today in this lecture, we will deal with preface to the Wretched of the Earth by Jean Paul Sartre. Now, uh, in order to understand preface to the Wretched of the Earth, it is important to understand three important personalities which are related to this book preface uh, to this book rather the wretched of the earth and these three persons are these three you know two people and a book which are interrelated so first you will have to understand what is the wretched of the earth who is Franz Fanon who is Jean Paul Sartre once we know these three components which are very much related to the preface of the wretched of the earth then we'll proceed uh, to understand the contents of the preface to the wretched of the earth so first important personality which is related to our lecture of the day is Franz Fanon now who is Franz Fanon Franz Fanon is a French uh, West Indian he's a black uh, critic so if we talk about the racial existence of Franz Fanon, he is a black. He is also known as Franz Umar Fanon, Ibrahim Franz Fanon. And he, in his lifetime, has contributed greatly to the field of literary theory. He is not only an intellectual, but also a political activist. And for that matter, a radical political activist who, during his lifetime, influenced a lot of you know radical political movements he is not only a theorist but he is also a psychiatrist and uh, you know he uh, studied in his lifetime the effects that the colonization had upon the communities in the third world countries particularly you know the effect of colonization in the colonies how this colonization affected the psychology of the people and he thought that the community in the colonies or in the colonized areas suffered a lot of mental problems and diseases because of colonization and then he said that if you want to create a better world two things are related once you will have to approach uh, this process of colonization two we'll have to integrate the communities the people with their own communities with their own societies with their own culture because if we integrate them that would be a better treatment for those who have been suffering from the problems uh, from you know psychological problems because of colonization he said that you know institutional uh, remedy is not the best remedy for those people who are suffering from psychological perspectives one of the most famous books for which Franz Fanon is known is The Wretched of the Earth. Now this Wretched of the Earth is considered as a militant work, as a violent work, as an aggressive work. This is one amongst the many works which were written during 1960s and 70s against the colonization. And in the, and this particular book, The Wretched of the Earth, discusses not only the psycho, uh, psychological effects of the colonization, but it also asks the people in the third world to stand up against, to unite against the Europe. And this book suggests the beginning of the end of the colonization process. In this book, uh, you know, uh, Franz Fanon takes on Europe on their face and you know lays bare all their uh, hypocrisies for the eastern world now he is friends fanon and this is the wretched of the earth now i won't be dealing in detail with wretched of the earth but an idea that you must have that what wretched of the earth is about and then there is jean paul sartre who is writing the preface to the wretched of the earth now, Jean Paul Sartre is an existentialist writer. You know, he's a novelist, he's a critic, he's a political and social activist, again from French, and he was closely related to Simon de Beauvoir in his lifetime. But uh, what we know Jean Paul Sartre primarily for is his concept of uh, existentialism and phenomenology. Here, why is Sartre important? Because Sartre is a white. And Franz Fanon is a black. So we 
हैव अ वाइट मैन राइटिंग प्रिफेस ऑफ अ बुक रिटर्न बाय अ ब्लैक मैन इगेंस्ट द कॉलोनाइजेशन एंड सुपरमेसी ऑफ यूरोप and let me tell you as we go through this particular preface written by jean paul sartre as aggressive and violent is the wretched of the earth so is the preface to the wretched of the earth jean paul sartre despite being a white does not you know uh, prevent our you know fear from using a similar kind of a language that friends fanon had has used in his book he uh, read extensively this book and in his preface he almost introduced the wretched of the earth to the europe to the west and recommended this book to them he is jean paul sartre so we have covered three important topics related to the wretched of the earth who is friends fanon what is the wretched of the earth and who is jean paul sartre now after you know these three things these three contents in proper context we come to the preface of the wretched of the earth now one more thing that is important here for you to understand is the concept of decolonization when this book was written in 1961 the process of decolonization was on in the world and europe as a colonizer had to a great extent uh, you know uh, reduced our the power the energy the control of europe over the uh, third world nations had reduced to a great extent and it was a time when particularly from france and african continent uh, there were many people who were writing against the process of colonization there was gugi wo thiongo for example there was franz fanon who were writing extensively against the uh, colonization and in favor of decolonization gugi wo thiongo for example went to the extent of writing decolonizing mind and in decolonizing mind he wrote an essay and titled it abolishing the department of english he said that it's good to uh, you know stop writing in english and gugi wa thiongo for a very long time did not write anything in english however in the later part of his career he would write in english also and you know teach in the universities in america and other parts so what At the time in which this book, the Richard of the the Richard of the Earth, was written in nineteen sixty one, and when its preface was written, that was the peak of the sentiments against colonization. So when we read this preface uh, to the Richard of the Earth, since it's a preface, so it's very difficult to find out the contents of this preface. So what we would be doing, uh, we would divide this preface under certain subheadings, which would make it easy for you to understand it. And the subheadings would be we would uh, deal, we would say, for example, introduction to. preface of the wretched of the earth and we'll have a change in the attitude of the natives the end of european supremacy a plea for uniting the third world warning to europe recommending friends fanon to europe and conclusion these would be subheadings under which we would try to understand preface to the wretched of the earth